Hey guys, so today we are going to be going over a new program that I have started using uh, called Zod, uh, spelled X-O-D. Now, keep in mind this is a paid instructional video. They did approach me and ask me to make these videos. Um, but I started digging into the program and I really like what they're doing so far. Uh, if you've ever used any sort of visual scripting program before, such as uh, the blueprinting system inside of the Unreal Engine, or the flow graph system inside of the CryEngine, then this is going to be very easy for you to pick up, because it's essentially the same thing, but for Arduinos. Uh, right off the bat today, we're or to start today, we are going to be looking at just the things that we can run on the Arduino itself, without any external uh, devices, without any LEDs or buttons or anything like that. We're just going to use the LED that is on the Arduino just to make it easy and kind of pick up on things quickly. So I currently have my Arduino plugged in um, and I will put a, a video of the Arduino as I'm doing this down in the corner and we're going to start messing around with the LED on it. So to start, make sure your Arduino is plugged in first. Um, I've had some issues when trying to unplug and, un and plug the Arduino back in while XOD or Zod is running. Uh, so, like I said, make sure you plug in the Arduino first and then launch Zod. Once you launch Zod, this is going to be what you're presented with. You're going to see a blank canvas and you're going to have your libraries off to the left here. Um, to start off, since we're going to be messing with the LED, we're going to drag in the LED. Now this is in the common hardware. Uh, the hardware that you see in here is what is currently compatible with it right out of the box. Uh, they're consistently adding more hardware to this and you can add your own libraries but there's some there's some growing pains on adding libraries but we'll cover that in another video. So once you have the LED node drug into your screen here, you can come up to view and toggle help bar. And really, you can uh, do this without having to drag it into the screen. You can just select a node off to the uh, left and it will give you a help on it. But the help bar will describe what the node does and kind of give you some information on all the ports for the node. Since we're working with the LED, you'll see that the port is the uh, number from the, the pin on the Arduino and the LUM is the lumens, uh, how bright the, uh, or luminescence, how bright the LED is going to be. You can see right down here, zero, it's currently turned off. Um, 13, this is going to be using the onboard pin. So we're going to turn lumens to one. Now, or luminescence to one, and that's going to essentially just turn it on, turn the LED on. So we're going to come up here to deploy and upload to Arduino. And uh, the first time you do this, you're going to have to select the Arduino that uh, you currently have. I'm using the Mega, so I've got that selected. And then we're going to hit Upload. Now this part does kind of take a little bit. Um, I think it takes a bit longer than the Arduino IDE. Um, but it's not too terribly bad. I'd say it takes about a minute or so to, to get this uploaded, uh, uploaded. And the first time you do it, it takes a little bit longer because it has to install this tool chain. It always seems like it takes longer when you're actually sitting here and waiting for it and watching it. Okay, so now it's uploaded and you can see that the light is just turned on on the Arduino. And that's all it takes to send something to the Arduino. So let's go ahead and do something a little bit um, more complex. Let's have the Arduino blink. I mean, after all, the blinking uh, onboard LED is kind of what everybody does. So what we're going to do is put on a square wave. A square wave will turn on and off the uh, LED. We'll drag that out. Now you'll see here that the square wave has a lot of different pins and options that you can set. Uh, the time, you can see right over here, the T is the time interval between switches to true. Um, so we're going to have the output of that go to the luminescence. So as the square wave comes up, it will put a one to the output. It'll stay on for a little bit. 
and then as the square wave drops off it'll come back down to zero and it'll output a zero to the LED so it should send a one zero one zero to the LED therefore turning it on and off on and off so let's go up to deploy and upload and we'll see how well that worked Now, one thing I love about the visual scripting side of things, um, especially when it comes to uh, game engines, is that it's very quick for prototyping. Even if you don't ultimately end up using it for the final product, um, to prototype with, it is leaps and bounds faster than trying to sit there and write everything out. Okay, it's uploading. There we go. And as you can see, it's blinking on and off in one second intervals. Okay, so let's um, delete the square wave. To delete a node, you click on it and then hit the delete key uh, on your keyboard, and that will get rid of it. You can't right click and delete. Next, we're going to put on a sine wave. Now, what this will do is it'll give it a gradual on and a gradual off. Um, it's not going to be as sharp as the square wave is. And if you know what a square wave and a sine wave looks like, um, I mean, what I'm saying it makes quite a bit more sense. But all we got to do is uh, port the output to the sine wave into the lumens on the LED. And on this, we're going to select a three second interval. Uh, kind of make it last a little bit longer. We'll hit deploy and upload. There we go. Okay, and you can see on the light how it gradually gets brighter and gradually gets dimmer. Essentially replicating the oscillation of a sine wave. So the next thing we're going to do with this LED is we're going to make it send out a Morse code signal. Uh, we're going to have it blink out SOS. That's three short blinks, followed by three long blinks, followed by three short blinks, and then it starts over again. Uh, you, I'm sure you've seen that in like movies or TV shows where they make the plane lights blink or the spaceship lights blink or something along those lines. So what we're going to start with, besides this LED node, is we're going to bring in a flip in times. Uh, the in this node right here, the N, the letter N, is going to be how many times this actually cycles on and off, which is going to be three times. It's going to stay on for one second, and then it's going to turn off for a half second. And on this particular one, because it's the first, we're going to have it set on boot, which means that it starts flipping N times, three times, on boot. And then we're going to drag the output, which is either a 0 or a 1, over to the lumen. So it's going to tr either turn it on or off. Now, on this particular node, this ACT, you can see right here, is, a, is flip sequence active. So this will go to false whenever the sequence here is done. So in order to take advantage of that, we're going to bring in a pulse on false. So whenever this turns to false, this is going to send out a pulse, which is then going to send out or start a delay. Um, we'll drag the output of the pulse down to the set on the delay, which starts the delay. The time on the delay we're going to have is one second. So it's going to send out the three short pulses here, and then it's going to wait one second and then we need to um, do the three long pulses. So I'm going to do a control C and a control V. 
and once the delay is done it is then going to activate the set on this one which is what starts it um, and on this we need three long pulses so we're gonna leave into three because it's that's how many times it's gonna cycle except for the on for the time on we're gonna change that to two so that'll give us three long pulses and then we need to copy and paste these so whenever that goes to false it will trigger another delay and then we need one more flip in times And this is going to be the three short pulses. We don't even need to change anything here except for the on boot. We'll change that to never because we need to set that um, whenever the delay is done. Now the LED uh, that's currently set to pin 13. So we're going to copy and we're going to paste two of these. So the output goes there. And the output goes there. Now, that will have it blink S-O-S -S once, but we want it to be cons uh, continuous. So, we're going to need another pulse on false and a delay node. Except this delay, we are going to make two seconds. So, there will be a half second delay in between pulses, a one second delay between letters, and a two second delay between messages. And so once this delay is done, we need to have it hook up to the set up here at the top, on this top. However, um, before you can do that, because that'll give you a feedback, um, inside of Zod here, you have to use a defer if you're gonna have a feedback. Um, this, we are using pulses. So we will use a defer pulse and then take the output of the delay node and put it on the input of the defer and then take the output of the defer and put it on the input of set. Now we can um, send this over and see how it does. Chances are I probably messed something up somewhere so we will see. Now, also another thing I noticed because I've done this, I, I've done this before on here. The first set of SOSs, the first SOS, for some reason is messed up. Um, I'm sure you guys are yelling at your screen right now, telling me exactly what's what I'm doing wrong. But you will see what I mean. On the first message, it is a little messed up, but all messages beyond that are just fine. Okay, one, two, oh, yep, yeah. let's go ahead and wait for this first message to pass because it's kind of acting a little wonky. Okay, that should have been it. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it should wait two seconds and then start the message over again. Okay, so now that you guys have seen some of the basics, uh, on the next video, I'm going to start hooking things up to the Arduino, and we can start controlling other things uh, like buttons, potentiometers, uh, and the like. Uh, I'll see you next time.